And I remember when the first time I actually heard it before I had read January, November, December. Remember the first of them? I was so yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, that, I was so That geek. album was so huge for me oh, as a kid, man. Oh, yes, yes. 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 I got goosebumps. Yeah, yeah. Oh, my God. You got goosebumps. <laughs> I, uh, I met Busy Bone at the comedy store like a few years ago. And mm-hmm. I told him, I go, man, I was listening to you guys way too young. He said, we were rapping too fast. Parents didn't know what we were saying. Yeah. So they got away with a lot, I think. But I played that Eternal 99. I had it on tape. Yeah. Like, like like dubbed from yeah. a CD, and I just played it in my oh, headphones man. so much. I love that. That was, that that album. was a fire. Ass but also, it, so, it just sounded so like cool. Lesser known characters. Lesser known characters. Welcome back to another episode of Lesser Known Characters, where we sit down with our guests and get to know them through their musical interests. And today, our guest is to hear more every horrible yeah. intro. <laughs> you laughed through the whole thing. You didn't take it seriously. No one believed you. I don't, I don't feel like you want to be here right now. I feel like both of you guys would rather be skateboarding. No, 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 no. All right, partly true, but, yeah. I, but no, no, no. I, I've been on him about the intro for... Months now. He hates don't, doing don't, it. Don't try to. You was about to say years. Like we've been doing this for years. How long has it been? Man, we we only at had least like 40, a year. Forty something episodes. We're at forty nine. We're only three weeks away. Yeah, that's great. That's oh, we're great. three weeks away from a year. Yeah. Oh, well, I didn't know that. So it's about about a year for you yeah, to get this that's down. Good. Oh. Yeah. All right. I could tell he was a skater. He was either a skater or a tattoo artist. Because your art is immaculate. I oh, love thank the you. old Hell school, yeah. like 90s Hell style yeah. art. I love that pop art type feel. But like the Vans and the black Dickies just scream skater. Are you wearing Dickies too? Yeah. Yeah, man. You guys are fucking <laughs> peas in the pie. You got your corn t-shirt on. Right. Name me five corn shirts. I mean songs right now. Oh, that's easy. Oh, you're going to get 20. Leash, got the life. Uh... Seed, uh, Justin, uh, Pretty, uh, Chi, okay. Good All Guy. Right. I, I, uh, just, I just wanted to make sure you weren't capping, bro. <laughs> no, I don't care. Some cap. guys be out here false yeah, flagging, right. you yeah, know what I'm saying? They got the, the Kiss t-shirt on oh, and all yeah. that shit. It was yep. like, give me five songs Give right me five now. songs. And I, and I appreciate that you did that. Yeah, I'm going to call it out. Yeah, you called it out. Mm-hmm. He straight up called it I saw, out. Some I people s- would call me a whole ass nigga for it. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't care. You know what I'm saying? Stop I would flexing. never. Yeah. <laughs> We're off to a great start then. Yeah, we still don't understand with each other. Yeah, yeah. I saw I saw a meme that was like, "Oh, you like rock? Name every rock." <laughs> <laughs> Sedimentary. Yeah. Oh, uh, damn. oh shit. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I went to science, man. Uh, yeah. You know, hey, <laughs> you, you, well, they're, they're, so you, he got some weird shit about him. He likes anime. Oh wow! I, I can like, tell that I like some yeah. anime. I'm new in it. I'm I can not tell that by the color like of your shoes and shorts. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, have a, I have a Gen Z kid, so you know, okay. kind of like uh, spending that time with her is like absorbing what she absorbs, and she loves anime. Yeah. So my my daughter is really big into Korean. Like a lot of it's great. The stories bit. are great. Yeah. You know, it's a it's a whole thing. Yeah, well, y'all lame. Hey man, <laughs> I did. I mean, you know what? I started I first. I guess ex- experience with anime when some people don't call it anime was Ninja Scroll. Yeah. And this is years ago. I mean, yeah. I was like 10, 11 when Ninja Scroll Wait, came how old out. are you? I'm 40 now. You 40? I'm 40. I just had my 40th a couple of weeks ago. Really? Yeah, man. I couldn't tell with you. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I was, got like, one I was, those I was trying like, to get. I was like, I could be forty five or thirty four. Yeah, that's what I'm I got. I got yeah. a nice little range on. Yeah, you know? that's why I still yeah. got hope with acting. I was like, ah, uh, still got some years yeah, left. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. Yeah, but I mean, the further I get from it and not like really booking anything super big, I just start doing random shit like getting my septum pierced. People are like, aren't you still acting? I was like, yeah, but at this point, I'm getting. Like, yeah, I'm kind yeah. of not giving a fuck. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean, like I can flip this up and it's hidden. When I did Abbott, I flipped this up. So. Oh really? Yeah. Oh cool. Oh hell oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, but I'm like until I get something that's like I'm on. I'm number two or number one on the call sheet. And Abbott, Ab- the Abbott show is killing it. It's killing, man. It's yeah. going to be one of the last, I think it's going to be one of the last sitcoms we get with like 20 episodes. Right. I think that's when it, I think that's Oh yeah, because that, that was the thing back in the day. Mm-hmm. You I was get 20, 22 uh, episodes, yeah. 28 episodes. Dude, I was running it back with Fresh Prince and I was like, oh wow, they got a lot of episodes. Yeah, man. That syndication like Martin, came Martin after. Two, Martin yeah. as well, yeah. They had syndication after like four seasons. They were good. Damn. You know Modern saying? Family was the last great sitcom. Was it? It was great. Modern was Family good. was great. Yeah, it, was good. it was great writing. Yeah. Very great witty, writing. very smart writing. Yeah, I look back, I'm like, damn, they got away with that? Like, it's fucking, yeah. you couldn't do it now, or you yeah, could, you I could. guess. If you're South Park guys, you gotta, yeah, you could. You gotta yeah. sneak your way through it. Oh, yeah, if you're white. 
Yeah. There are certain doors that yeah. you don't have to worry about being, yeah. you know, closed, so you can get away with a lot. Uh-huh. I mean, Fraser is one of my favorite shows. Oh, you and like they, Fraser? Oh, I fucking love Fraser. Really? Love it. Super quick, Damn. quick comedy. I mean, you got to be Damn. on your toes with it. A lot really? of people like that shit. I've never seen it. I've it's never a, seen it's a it. smart comedy, too. Like, it, it, I think I saw Frasier when it was, like, actually on TV, and I think it kind of just and set the prime. foundation yeah, for, yeah. My, for, like, my bougie shit. Yeah. Like, I drink my sherry out of a sherry glass. And that was a spinoff to... From Cheers. From Cheers. Yep. Yes. Mm-hmm. What, why, why are you laughing? No, he said he drinks his sherry out of a sherry glass. Yeah, that started the, the foundation for my bougie shit. Like, I'm super I fucking see what bougie. You are bougie? Oh, I'm super fucking bougie. Yeah. <laughs> I go to uh, Hammer and Nail. It's a male grooming spa. I go get my toes done. My you do all done. that? Yeah, I do like Oh, a- I thought that was a great marketing thing. Hammer and Nail is a good for, mm-hmm. to get. You know, it's not like a the name would not scare men to go yeah. get that. I was like, that was I very I ain't scared smart. to do it. I just don't need to do it. Take your socks off right now. Put them in the camera. All right. No, no, no. <laughs> no, 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 no. You said you don't need to do it. Keep it a buck. Right? We said we not, we not, we not out here. Yeah. It's, it's like you capping yeah. right now. Put your shit on the I do mine. With your goat Let's do it. Feet. Let's do it right now. Come on. Let's no, go. No, Come on. No, no, no. No, 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 no you could. No, okay. no, no, okay. He needs to go to a farm. No, no, no. Yeah. See, that's a sherry glass right there. <laughs> Hell yeah. Very small. Pick it up by the stem so you don't like change the temperature of the, of the drink. Uh, just take sips of it. Small sips of it. You know what I mean? Damn. Yeah, man. Hell yeah. That's how I, I do that type of shit. <laughs> that's my fucking right yeah. here. <laughs> What's your, what, want to do it though. what's your cheese game like? <laughs> um, Top it three. On, it, dep- it depends on um, what what I'm eating afterwards. Like if I'm just doing a charcuterie board, or I'm just putting on like a little plate. Just says oh, like, damn, he really does it. Uh, just like like small bites before like a heavy meal. It really depends. Like if we having fish, or we gonna have beef, that type of shit. So I try to pair everything together because I'm I usually do for the most part. I usually do red wines, and so I try to do everything that just pairs with that red wine, so it won't mess up the palate. All right, let Chappelle know. Give him a cheese to go with the red wine because he needs to know. Uh, I, see, I, don't, I don't know what kind of cheese. I mean, it's so many cheese. Like, it's a, it's a whole cheese. To, <laughs> to go with the I red? I mean, if you do some fresh mozzarella, it's it's cool, but I'm not a I'm not a huge fan of mozzarella. Uh, if you get it super fresh, it's, it's, it's always damp. It doesn't really have a whole lot of flavor, in my yeah, opinion. There are yeah. cheeses that have way better flavor than, than, than mozzarella. But What's some that? people love it. I like camembert. Gouda, that's good. I like feta. I, I mean, I don't eat that on a charcuterie, but like, I, I, I like... I like different types of cheeses. Like I don't like the there's the regular go to. Yeah, I like yeah. extra sharp cheddar. Like regular cheddar don't yeah. make it in my house. You mean you make me feel so regular? It's not regular. It's just you have something that you're passionate about too that I really can't add anything to the conversation. I guarantee cheerleading. You're I passionate guarantee about it, huh? You're passionate. No, about it? I'm saying you are. Oh. So I wouldn't be able to add anything. <laughs> I was like, you ready for this? <laughs> no, I wasn't. I was like, I'm not. I, I, listen, all I can do is admire from afar yeah. because I know that's something that you got that shit on lock. Well, that, the afar part is court ordered, right? <laughs> no. Oh, okay, never mind. All right. Cool. Wait, how do we? Wait, we met. Kev. We met through Kev. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we met at, Kev, said, yeah. at the. Uh, uh, um, Back outside? Yeah, no. it was. Or, um, uh, fuck. fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to dudes trying to figure stuff out. Keep your distance. Keep your distance. Keep your distance. Keep your distance. Mm-hmm. Keep your distance. That's mm-hmm. where we met. Mm-hmm. Which yeah. is also what Chappelle was, has to do was, around school. Well, so- <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Which was, you know, it was something funny about that was, uh, I think that was my second time doing an all black show. Really? Yeah. Nobody's surprised. No. <laughs> Nobody's surprised. When I saw your set, I was like, this motherfucker is funny. And then you said you grew up like Arizona or something. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. I was like, yeah, this is funny. Yeah, 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 yeah. A culture shock. For, and that's crazy to hear black people uh, yeah. say, yeah, it's kind of a culture shock. But yeah, like, yeah, yeah, I did. yeah, I get it. But everything well, about you was like, yeah, he ain't. So get, to give you a little backstory before we get into the, so the black first story. time. <laughs> black story. Give you a little black story. The first time I ever did a. Uh, uh, all black audience. So, uh, th- this was when I was living back home in Arizona. I came up in Arizona. I was doing like stand up live, Tippy Improv. I was a re- you yeah. know regular like host uh, feature at those clubs. And I remember uh, I hosted for Bill Burr. Mm. You know, what I mean? it was it was it was a great phenomenal weekend and fucking and I and I did really fucking good. Yes. Yeah. And then but but the my mentor his name's Casey Courier. He used to be the GM of Ooh. of those clubs. And he owns his own club. He has the mic drop in uh, San, San Diego. Diego. Yeah, yes. I know Casey. Yeah, yeah. He's a so, good friend with uh, Big Irish Jay. Shout out to yeah, Big Irish yeah, Jay. Exactly, yeah. exactly. Mm-hmm. So Casey was like, um, he threw a challenge at me, but I didn't realize he was throwing a challenge. Mm-hmm. He goes, hey, you want to host for Rodney Perry? 
You open the, uh, you open that weekend. I was God like, okay. Damn. I was like, okay, yeah, yeah. Rodney is a black ass name, no matter where you are. <laughs> Rodney is a black ass name, no matter where the fuck you from, man. You want to hope for Rodney, nigga, ain't it? <laughs> Shout out so, to Rodney Perry, that's my so, OG. Yeah. And so I already knew who Rodney Perry was, so I was like, yeah, I would love to do that, right? So, and I and I remember I went out there, you know, uh, it was funny, I, I even came up to like the hardest song, I don't even remember, it was something... Nuck if you bug. Yeah, right. <laughs> fucking, I was like, because it was all black audience. So, yeah. I was, so I looked outside. And I was like, ooh, I need to change the song. I walked up to. <laughs> so, Do you have a tiger in a cage <laughs> that I can come out with? <laughs> so I, I walk out and I'm hosting and I'm tanking. Yeah. <sighs> Bad. Yeah. Right? Bad. And I got like three laughs. Mm. And even my homie. Who uh, who was there watching me? Mm-hmm. He came backstage. He goes, "You got about three laughs." Yeah. <laughs> and I was, yeah. and so so Rodney was like, he you know he goes he goes, "Hey man, you gotta talk to them folks." He goes, "Here's the thing." He goes, "I like that you stay who you are." Mm-hmm. He goes, "But you're you're not saying." You're, I was like, "You're not clearing the thing up top about you." He goes, "When you walk on stage, black people know immediately immediately that you're different. Mm-hmm. They know immediately, <laughs> but they don't know why. You got to tell them why." Yeah. And so. I didn't clear that. So I was just going through like, you know, through a set, set. Yeah. Yeah. Without like letting them know. Cause they're just like, is he going to say it yet? And, you know? And I, and I didn't even realize that. And it was, it was such a great tool oh, to man. like, you know, like that was like the perfect thing I could have heard. We'll get uh, amazing. I remember, from Rodney <laughs> I remember I, I, I went home that day. I, or I, I didn't even, first of all, you know you do bad when you leave, right? When the show's over. <laughs> <laughs> all right, thank you guys. Good night. Yeah. Taxi? Yeah, yeah, right. Oh, taxi for the stage. Yeah, right. <laughs> Dude, I raced home, and I just, like, rewrote my set out, right? Mm-hmm. And then I remember I walked out on stage, and I said, and all I said was this. I said, uh, I was adopted into a white family. And someone goes, nigga, I knew it. <laughs> 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 Listen, man, you got to treat black crowds like some black people treat their jobs. You can't go up and immediately go to work. You got to exactly. you gotta warm up, talk to them a little bit. Especially Y'all as came a host. Out, you know? Especially yeah, as, as, a host. As, a, as a host. Yeah. You got to, because it's, it's your job to break the ice. It's kind of like somebody that's eating a dick on or like a shotgun show and they just go up and do the time. Yeah. I mean, if, if it's the right crowd, it's going to work. But if it's a black crowd, hey, hey, slow the fuck. Who yeah, the yeah, fuck yeah. are you? Yeah, bro? who are you? Yes. We pay money to see such and such. Who the fuck are you? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So you got to warm them up. You got to, you know what I'm saying? You got to wind it down them a little bit. Yeah. So when Kev asked me to do that show, I said, do you really, you, you, want, me, you want me to do the show? And I actually had a good set. So which was like. Kev's audience is different. Yeah. And also like, I, I you know. I just thought back to the that Rodney Perry show. I'm like, oh, tell them who you are. Yes. And I just and I was saying all the things of who it I was. It was so memorable. I never forgot you from that day. Oh, really? I, I oh, thought damn. you were hilarious from that fucking day. I thought that you were further along. So I was like, man, this motherfucker funny, man. He probably yeah. touring with Dave and all that shit. Because like, you were so posed and poised and 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 and, and well spoken with it. That means you 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 conducted yourself in a very I I business and and very. Like fine tuned way, you like you well, seem very calm you, with it. You know, because it, 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 like I'm sorry, we'll we'll get into the episode. He said he never that. forgot you. He's tried. But. <laughs> 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 well, even even like growing up, like you know, even with like my fa- like my family, because I was adopted, but I was like in my teens. But like even before that, like you know, when we go to like family reunions, I always felt weird. Yeah, you around black, black because back in the yeah, white, cause, cause, uh, white paint can. Like, and, and I'm around like relatives, mm-hmm. but I always felt weird around relatives. Or anything. Fuck, that's like, so I was interesting. At, I was dude, at my yeah. mom's hip. Wow. Because my mom, I was, my mom didn't fucking judge me for who I was, yeah. but I was just like so terrified because I was like, oh damn, I like, I like corn. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? But so like, I've always kind of been like, Damn, same. You know, that's to, so weird. You, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, feeling out of place with your own family. With, yeah, yeah, with You're, people that like are at like, a, Yeah, that's crazy. You know? I get that. I, get, I, I totally get that. Yeah. I, I left, when I left St. Louis, nobody in my family had ever tried to like, like ever do Leave. something like, yeah. And especially Man. as far as with California, or they moved somewhere to another city where we have family in France. I ain't do nothing. Mm, yeah. I just knew I wasn't going to be homeless. I was like, I'll give it every job I fucking got to get. I'm just Hell not yeah. going to be, I got too many shoes to be homeless. Yeah. It'd be three shopping carts full of shoes. And I was like, it's hard to keep an eye on all three of those when you sleep. 
So I'm not going to be homeless. Oh. So I fuck it. I started selling dope. I stayed right across the street from a middle school, get them while they're young, turn them yeah. into life to, lifetime customers. Yeah, of course. You know, so this I did that for like two, two and a half years, <laughs> and then had enough money to move to Glendale, and now I sell dope up there. That's fucking Hell yeah. You mean yeah. vapes to Armenians? No, 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 just coke. Uh, <laughs> Not big quantities. The key is you can always keep less than a felony on you, and then you can always uh, get away with it. All right. So since we, you you mentioned it, you from St. Louis. Let's yeah. let's get into your musical interest then. Yeah. Okay? Uh, yeah. As a guy from St. Louis, I don't know too many people from St. Louis. Mm-hmm. What what you need? Uh, give a shout out to the guy who made the sign. Show. Oh shit! Yeah, we got a sign. We ain't never had a sign before. Look at this. This is new, and we got to give a major Hi, shout so out to. Uh, this is Fuller Fabrication. This is the company, but the owner is Josh Fuller, and he made this for us. Uh, so thank you. We want to say thank you, Josh. Man, this is beautiful artwork. This will this is everlasting. This beautiful like a, this artwork. Is, this, is, this is built like a Tonka truck. Uh, it's great yeah. because it also looks like Misfits like logo. Oh, yeah, yeah. Like the same character. And I see it. I thought you had a Misfits hat on a Scully at first. Oh like, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 No, I was like, from yeah, that was perfect. Yeah, yeah. perfect. Yeah. So shout out, shout out to Fuller Fabrication. Hell yeah. Shout we out. appreciate you. the fan art. Love it. Fuller thank Fabrication you. in the building. What's up, man? All right, uh, <laughs> all right, to here. So, <laughs> first album you ever bought? Uh, I forgot what I put, but I'm pretty sure the first album I ever bought was All Eyes on Me. Yeah, Fuck yeah. Really, Damn. Uh, that was the first double Damn. disc. I think that might have been the first double disc in rap history. Interesting. Uh, really? I think so. I think huh. it was the first double disc. Somebody fact- no, no, yeah, yeah, can yeah, we Google that, that, that Mike? Uh, I think he might be right. Uh, cause, cause then people started doing it after. I think the next one I knew that did a double disc was Nelly. Uh, no, nah, Biggie no. did one before them. Wu Tang didn't do. I don't think Wu Tang did. Wu Tang did one. Yeah, that was a double, but I think that was like early two thousand. Yeah. Uh, Here we go. It's a oh Jazzy Jeff and the Fresh Prince. He's the DJ. I'm the rapper. Uh, that was the first, first double, double album. vinyl LP. Oh, okay. got it. Well, it's yeah, that makes. But yeah, this, this so the All Eyes on Me album. Yeah, doesn't it, it? It starts off with "Can't See Me." Uh, uh, Ambitious is a rider. Ambitious is a rider. Okay, yeah, yeah. 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 Ambitious. Oh, yeah. Which? How is old like, were you when you got this? Uh, my ambitious as a rider. Yeah, uh, I, I had to be like eleven. Damn. Damn. Yeah, and my mom <laughs> found it. She threw it away. Yeah, that's some hard shit. Yeah. For then I bought it again. Yeah. yeah, yeah. The first line. Yeah. Oh, starting from the top again, Mike. God, the what a great line. album cover too, man. I'm a straight rider. You don't wanna fuck with me. Hey, hey. And I had some of the best hot. intros ever, most iconic intros yeah. ever. That right there, I won't deny. I'm a straight rider. You don't wanna fuck with me. Yeah. Um, obviously, the this song. That's why I oh, fucked yeah. up. Yeah. Oh, 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 shit. Iconic. That's gonna yeah. go down in human history, bro. Like, has, yeah. when they look back at hundred years from now, I'm like, wow, why was he so angry? One hundred percent. This man right here. Yeah. You, you know what I would have loved to have seen, man. It, which obviously I think everyone is like him putting this these songs on stage like live. Yeah. Because I know the only really only real like like big show they have is him at House of Blues. Yeah. The House of Blues in LA. Yeah, my brother, uh, I think my brother was at that show. He was at that I, show? I believe so. God damn, that's fucking Or he was at legendary. a public enemy show and uh, Tupac, Tupac was, was there. there. Yeah. yeah. Like, that's what I would have loved to have seen from Pac. It's like, just like what he would have been able to create on like stage. Honestly, I don't know if it was good. Really? I think now we like lionize this thing, but I think that, that the hip hop live performance at times is lacking. Oh yeah, absolutely. He had thirty dudes. You've seen the video. It's like yeah, but but, but I don't know. He had such a powerful voice. I could yeah. see That's what him I'm saying. Like, rocking it out. But like, cause like when I went and saw Kendrick, mm-hmm. that well, Kendrick was, was different. Kendrick has always been different. It's not. It's not even a, a that comparison was like to a, him to other artists. Yeah, like Drake gives a performance now. Mm. Now you know now. But when I saw him and Wayne, I went to that same tour at the bowl. Well, I saw him at the Hollywood Bowl, uh-huh. and he came on the zip line from the top. Yes, yes, bro. Right, that he was, was cool. saying what's up. He goes, "I see you with the with the uh, red hair ah. right there." He was pointing at all these girls. The girls were like screaming. And yeah. rumor, rumor that, yeah. is that his dick could have touched them from the zip line. <laughs> There's Drake. always been a, a, like a, a a noticeable gap from like R and B singers and rappers when it comes to like on performance. Stage performance. Yeah, it's like yeah. the final frontier of you know of hip hop. I think is, that, but I don't know. The Roots is great. You, you do see it, but like mm-hmm. if you see the Roots, you're gonna see a show. Yeah, yeah. I mean, but that's, that also includes live instrumentation. That's that's completely different. Yeah, you're right. Like I, I can go see like if Future put on a performance. Somebody did a performance with like a symphony. 
Yeah. Oh, like, it's a Metro Del- Boomin. Metro, yeah, I don't yeah. have to see the rapper perform like that. And I got this big, you know, large yeah, symphony yeah, yeah, in front yeah, of me. Yeah. Like, yeah. that is that is uh, amazing enough. Yeah. It's captivating enough that, that the rapper doesn't have to do a whole lot. But, like, like even when Jeezy did his tiny dance, it was like, I wish he would have stood up. Mm. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, he sat down and did, like, some of the hypest club songs ever. And he's like, man, they, y'all ain't really getting it. What's up? Y'all ain't ready to see the ice? They was like, man, you need to stand up. Yeah, <laughs> do something. Yeah, do something. You need to stand up with but that. It, Flip that desk I over, saw, right? But they say there's this thing with, with a lot of the, especially like the rappers, like new rappers today, they can't even like do a tour because their performances are just so bad. Yeah. Like, they just go up there and like, just kind of like move around. No breath control. Man. No breath control. Yeah. Like, I, I love when it's uh, one rapper and a DJ doing the the end words, the yeah, yeah. the end of the sentence so he could breathe. I said end words. <laughs> <laughs> if I want to say that, it, I'll say yeah, it. <laughs> that can be confused with end words, guys. Yeah. I, I would never. I mean, that's true. Like when I saw I saw Jay Z, uh, like twenty seventeen maybe, mm-hmm. and it was just it was just him. Yeah, that mm. was it. Like it was, he had like a. I bet Will like Smith center, and Jazzy center, Jeff probably did that too. You know, oh, yeah. one and one. Yeah, uh, but, but but like but like the, the, the Action reason, the reason and why Alchemist, I think FG. Pac yeah. would have had a little bit more like performance. Oh uh, yeah, I think is, is he was an artist all around, and he's an actor. Yeah, yeah. He went to did he go to Juilliard? No, Baltimore no, School uh, Performing. Yeah, he yeah. went to yeah. performing arts school. So I feel like he would have. I think he would have like given the time to. Expand on his artistry. I yeah. feel like he would have made it. Yeah, I agree. Like you get to stadiums or something. Performer. That's what I'm saying. Like, and, yeah. and I think for him, yeah, because he was an actor yeah. and all this stuff. And also, uh, when you think about it, like NWA, if you look at those old NWA concerts, they put on a show. Yeah, that was. Yeah. They for sure put on. The but show. that was the group. They didn't. It wasn't the group plus the entourage plus fucking. You know. Mm. I know they. Have, I don't know. I just. I just. I wish. T- t- uh, type in Tupac House of Blues on YouTube. Oh, he shit. Just, he, he just do America's most public wanted. enemy had a pretty good fucking oh, yeah, 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 oh yeah, yeah. I mean they, I mean oh, if you, they were very if you look like Flavor Flav you gotta bring something to the table <laughs> yeah you gotta bring you look something like, to like live like yeah. act sound like, like go, yeah go to that, boy uh, yeah right go to that second one right there that one Damn. This one right there. Look how many people are on yeah, stage. Yeah, never mind. He's killing it. So like, look at voice. everybody that's on stage. For what? Imagine if we did that at stand up. For backup. If someone jumped up, they're getting stomped the fuck oh, out. They're, stomped. they're not even yeah. touching Tupac. Oh, hell no. You got Snoop. Damn, Damn, just yeah. sitting on the monitor. Yeah. Then they try to put my nigga on case for murder and just lock his ass down forever. <laughs> like it was killer nigga season. But this, yeah, this is different. Also, this is House of Blues. If he, had, if if Tupac was like a theater arena, yeah, kind, kind of guy, I don't think it'd be like that. Nah, they're killing it. This is great. This is awesome. Yeah. And you know what? It's crazy because like back then, I feel like we knew more of the words to songs than we yeah. do right now. Like I had to listen to a song so many times to learn the words to so go on genius. And back then, I don't know, it just came easier. Like I used to sit with a paper and a pen yeah. and rewind and like try to fucking. Because a lot of times they did it the CDs They didn't put didn't it inside the, the booklet, yeah. yeah. They didn't put the lyrics in there. Bone did it, surprisingly. Because yeah, I was they, like, they I had just know they making up words. But no, they wrote everything down. <laughs> and I remember when the first time I actually heard it before I had read January, November, December, remember the first of them. I was so yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That, I was so <laughs> That album was so huge for me oh, as a kid, man. Baby. Yes, yes. I got goosebumps. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, oh my God. <laughs> I uh, I met Busy Bone at the comedy store like a few years ago, and mm-hmm. I told him, I go, man, I was listening to you guys way too young. He said, we were rapping too fast. Parents didn't know what we were saying. Yeah. So they got away with a lot, I think. But I played that Eternal 99. I had it on tape. Yeah. Like, like dubbed from yeah. a CD. And I just played it in my oh, headphones man. so much. I love that. That was, that that album. was a fire. But also, it, so- right it just sounded so like cool. Mm. Yeah, they had like, that East Coast of. Yeah, yeah. Bam, it, it, it just sounded cool. Like so, you yeah. Like even if you didn't know the words, you just knew like damn, that's smooth. Yeah. And and do a dot, do a dot, twister. Oh, yeah, do a die. <laughs> yeah. Come on, I put a seven deuce five. <laughs> arrived the point and spot the live holes three miles per hour. I was like, what does that even yeah, mean? Yeah, what does that even mean? What does that even mean? Is that how fast they record? <laughs> How do you know do or die? He's from Chicago. That's why. Oh, That's from, no, I wanted him to say it. Oh, yeah, okay. yeah. Them in crucial conflict. Who's the debate? Conflict. All right. Smoking on. Hey, in the Chappelle, you yeah, gotta get I an outfit like that. I just watched this video that. for like the first time like a year ago. Oh, really? I didn't even know they had a video. I actually didn't know that either. Mm. I never heard of it. He was going around turning people into players. Yeah. <laughs> 
I've never heard. Of, I've never heard of Do or Die. You never what? Heard of Do or Die? Yeah. They were actually beefing with the Bones. They were oh, beefing okay. with Bone Thugs and Harmony. Wow. It was like I guess about the like, style. Yeah. yeah, it was Twister and Do or Die beefing with Bone Thugs and Harmony. And also so, Mid- Midwest. When I yeah. asked Mike, how does he know Do or Die? I was trying to get context clues. When he said Chicago, I was like, Oh, okay, they're from Chicago. Yeah. Oh, oh, I was gonna it, try to it. act like I knew, but then I said, <laughs> Let me be on. Let me be honest. Let me, yeah. Let him be honest. Yeah, man. Do or Die was. Great man, they had a nice little run, and then Twister took off. He introduced the Speed yeah. Not Mobsters, and they had their thing. Cruiser Conflict had two decent albums. First one better than the second. So yeah. wait, with you buying that Pac album, uh-huh. your parents were cool with that? Care. No, my mom threw the first one away. So I was still <laughs> with my mom up until 14. 14 is when I moved out. So Okay, damn. But like I got, I mean, bro, I had I had a different type of freedom. I'm from a different type of place. Like I yeah. ain't had no. I ain't have no 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 curfew. Yeah, at, yeah, at, the, yeah. at the twelve, I didn't have a curfew. Damn, so I would be damn. coming in, you know, twelve, one sometimes. Like whenever I got home, because I always got my work done. And then I had uh, a kid at fourteen, yeah. and I was like, "Well, you had a kid at fourteen. Had a kid at fourteen, so I was like, well, I guess I'm grown.' And then me and my mom's relationship damn. changed, and wow, I was left, bro. So I, I guess I'm grown at fourteen. That's yeah, bro. wow. I, I, guess, was, I was out, bro. I guess. Wait, you were. so how old is your daughter? So my daughter is my biological. She's biologically my wife's daughter. She's not biologically. Okay, 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 okay. I met my wife in two thousand five. We hung out for like two weeks, and she told me she was two months pregnant. So she was already pregnant before we met, but she was just deciding what she was gonna do. You know what I mean? And then she tried to push me away, but I was already nose wide open. So yeah. when she told me, I was like, "Well, shit, I guess we having a baby. This ain't the first time I took care of another nigga's baby." <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, but I found out my son wasn't my son when I graduated high school. So four Damn. years later, I found out he was mine. That's really? why I didn't, I didn't go to college right out of high school because I was planning to just stay there and be a dad. Yeah. I found out he wasn't mine. I tried to get into high school. All the scholarship money was gone. Even though I had, an, I had, uh, I had 4.0, Damn. I was uh, cum laude. I was, I, 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 I was National Honor Society. I was a great student. Damn. But there was no scholarship money. So Damn. I had to go the following year, 2003, I got a hardship scholarship from um, from Harris Stowe State University. I ended up graduating from there, and the rest is history, man. Because I was supposed to go to school down in Alabama. I was supposed to go to Talladega University in Alabama. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, it just didn't work out, and I uh, drove back to uh, St. Louis and lived a completely different life. Damn. Damn. I wouldn't have met my wife or nothing if I went down to Talladega. Man, that's like my, my stepdad. Yeah. My, st- uh, my mom was, was pregnant with me when my stepdad uh, – <coughs> When they started uh, mm-hmm. dating and stuff like that, mm-hmm. he wasn't the best. Hi, right, man. <laughs> Except as you know, we come in and we a little hey, rough around the edges. I'm like, you know, yo, you pregnant, so I ain't got to use a condom, bro. Also, he was 16 when my mom when I was in my mom's belly. Oh, see, so he was a kid. Yeah, he was a kid. Damn. Yeah, so yeah. you know, I was like, like, yeah. you know, I'm always like, he tried. He gave yeah, a man, shot. Like, listen, yeah, man. Hey, yeah, having I mean, a kid at a teenager age is it's, it's yeah. different, bro. I, yeah, I was too young to work. I had to work at. I used to work at junkyards, bro. I used to work at this junkyard called Marty's in Cahokia, Illinois. Had to catch a bus out there when I wasn't working on the weekends. Because on the weekends, I would go on my uncle's and my granddad. But on, through the week, I would have to catch a bus out there, pick up co- uh, cans and strip cars of aluminum and break down alternates, copper and all that shit just to make like $25, $30 yeah. a day. And I'm using that to save up to pay for the kids daycare at the end of the week. Because my mom was telling me it's $150 a week. So I got to bring up $75, excluding diapers, right? I got to have that $75 for daycare. Long story short, I found out that shit was lost. She's paying $12 a month oh. for daycare because she was on state assistance. I'm just giving her this money. Bro, it was hard, bro. You know, daycare now is like 1800 a month. Oh, it's or crazy. Something crazy. Yeah, like if you that. want your kids to eat right. Yeah. I mean, they'll Fuck. watch them, but they ain't going to eat. Yeah. They'll barely watch them. Yeah, like 300 you can get somebody to watch them, motherfucker, yeah. but they ain't going to eat. But you want to eat? You want a meal plan? You want to hit $1,800? Yeah. You get it. You get an all fried meal plan for like 600 And if you want like a balanced meal plan, 1200 bitch. Or strap up, nigga. It's your choice. You know what I'm saying? Twelve hundred. I use a condom. Fuck boy. You know what the fuck it is. So when you, okay, this this goes perfect with the next question is. Yeah. So with all this going on in your youth, uh, what was the anthem of your youth? Oh, this fits right in. Oh, this is DJ. Oh, my God. oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't no fun. I always can't get out of there, bro. Oh my God. Yeah. Right, listen. So this is like my favorite fucking rap song of all time. Oh, it's one of the I mean, greatest. Like, one of the this is one of the ones I do doing my show. I do a verse every time I bring somebody up, right? Uh-huh. We just do it like this is like my favorite. The crowd goes yeah. get the crowd crazy going, right? when they hear that uh-huh. still. When so, I met you last night, baby. Uh, before you opened up your gap. 
Come hey. on, come on, come on. I'd have respect for you, lady. Hey. But now I take it all back. Okay, real quick, real two quick stories. Okay, yeah. yeah. Favorite song in the world. It's a great I was about song. to lose my my virginity to okay. my cousin's baby mama. Okay. At the time, okay. she was already his baby mama. Okay. I'm yeah. 13. My cousin's like 16, 17. I said, yeah. hey, such and such trying to fuck me. She, she, she want to have sex with me. I'm 13, right? Yeah. And his response was, you scared of pussy? Holy shit. <laughs> this is my intro to sex. <laughs> my cousin's baby mama uh. was my first. <sighs> and that's his response to me. Wow. So that's number one. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> It ain't here. no fun if the family can't get it. <laughs> hey, man, you know what I'm saying? Pass around to the homies. And then, um, like, I used to do a joke about Corrupt's verse. I was like, Corrupt's verse oh, it's hard. was so magnificent. It was almost like he was giving a lecture. Like, he walked to yes. class, he walked yeah. in. All right, go ahead, take out your notebooks. We're going to take notes on uh, why it ain't no fun if the homies can't help them. Now, uh, you guys know, if Corrupt ever gave a fuck about a bitch, I'd <laughs> always be broke. Always be broke. Hey, yeah. And I never had no <laughs> motherfucking end of the smoke. So I stay low to low me, tell a bitch she can't do me. me. Do we look like <laughs> your hoochie groupie. groupie? Now, I have no love for hoes. <laughs> and I do the whole verse of the crowd would jump in. Bro, it was fucking fun. That is uh, fucking crazy. It was my crazy. favorite fucking rap song, bro. I love that song. Damn. Corrupt's verse is my favorite verse. Oh, hands down. Yeah. yeah. Hands down. Yeah. Nobody Comes did it better. No, no, Corrupt and, is a, and, and, an amazing rapper. And they, and they let him start it off. Oh, I mean, after he came in after uh, Nate. Sorry, sorry, after Nate. After yeah, Nate, but, but like, yeah, listen. I mean, that's a great way to kick it in. You, if you, you would have blew the load too early if he would have started it off. Yeah. You have to have Nate kind of croon you in, yeah. and then Corrupt just slapped you across the face with it. And then with that trick-ass bitch. Trick-ass bitch. Yeah, come on. That ain't yeah, no, no fun. God, God, that album cover is iconic. Yo, anyway. I jacked off to that way more than I should have. <laughs> <laughs> Not even going to cap. I rubbed many of them out to that doggy style. Because you opened it up, and she was there. She had on a little pink bikini. She, I think she had the little fro, like the oh, puff bro. I rubbed it out. That's when I found out that the... Uh, the toilet tissue holder is not a good tool to use for a jack-off device. Oh, my God. I did the same thing. Oh, scraped yeah. up that mushroom top <laughs> real yeah. bad, baby. Bro, well, I would, put, Vas- I would put Vaseline inside. I, said, I didn't think about it. that. Yeah, yeah, I, didn't, yeah. I didn't put no ointment on it to afterwards because the damage was already done. Damn. Yeah. Fuck you, Shay. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I guarantee if you didn't do that, you fucked the pillow. I ain't never fucked no pillow. You ain't fucked the, the couch cushion? No. The little, little yellow foam? Bro, I was like terrible. You ever I, just I squeeze lost, your legs listen, real tight together? I, put, it, put, it this way, put it this way. Put it this way. I lost my virginity at 21. To a washing machine. <laughs> 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 Bitch got just, a big mouth. Fix your mic. Oh, Nelly. 21? Yeah. Bro, I had lived three lives. I know, alone. right? Oh, my <laughs> God. Yeah. At 14 alone. At 14 alone. <laughs> Um, what happened first? This motherfucker already had work boots at fourteen. <laughs> Feel me? So fourteen. Um, my best friend was killed in my house. Right. Damn. Uh, after that, one of my Jesus. uncle's friends was playing with a gun. My best friend was upstairs asleep. They tried to wake him up, scare him, shot him. Damn. After that, I got kidnapped coming off the bus. I used to go to school in St. Louis, but I lived in East St. Louis. So they caught me getting off the school, the uh, the public bus, took me to an abandoned house, tied me up, Damn. tried to get information from one of my uncle's dope houses. I ain't have it. Set me on fire, left me to die. At they that, set you on fire? Wait a minute. Man, I, <laughs> yeah, I like, bro. You know what I hate about him? The fact that he just rolled over. Yeah, there, yeah. Tried, yeah, set me on you know fire. What? I didn't know I had got kidnapped to a couple years ago. I'm doing another podcast and they're interviewing me. And this is the first time I had said it publicly. Yeah. Mm. And they was like, so you got kidnapped. I was like, no. Nah, I was 14. <laughs> Dude, we were just talking. Yeah, we yeah, yeah. As I just started therapy uh-huh. and I started saying stuff and I was like, but that's like whatever, right? And the therapist is like. Would you mind coming in twice a week? Like it's gonna be hard to get back. <laughs> me too. But it's just so normal. It's, it's so normal. normal to you when you're yeah. outside of that. When you're inside of that ethos, that's that's what's normal yeah. to you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't know that this was a fucking problem. I knew <sighs> it was like crazy. Yeah, you yeah. know what I'm saying. But yeah. I didn't think it was a fucking problem. Yeah. So yeah, that happened. Then I got shot in my back a couple couple uh, weeks later from a drive by. Wrong place, to say wrong a time. Weeks ago. <laughs> nah, wrong place, wrong time. This still at 14. Right, oh. uh, my dad died. I found out two weeks after the funeral, and then I had my son. I was all at fourteen. Wait, two weeks after your dad's funeral, you found out he died. Yep, Damn. I was walking down the street, and his stepson saw me. He was like, "Hey, you Bob?" And I was like, "Yeah, yeah." He was like, "You know, Rob, your daddy." I was like, "Yeah, yeah," because I, I can see him. He was like, "You know, your daddy dead." 
I was like, sorry, that's the way. No, nah. he was like, yeah, the funeral was two weeks ago. Well, I was wondering why you ain't see you. Damn. And mind you, at the time when I'm living with my grandmother, my 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 other folks, my other grandma, they stay they stay like six blocks away. Yeah. Nobody Damn. nobody came to tell me. And so like I, like through therapy, I learned within the last couple of years. I say like the last six seven years, I learned how to love. Mm. Unconditionally, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, didn't, yeah. I, I grew up. I moved out at fourteen because me and my mom's relationship changed after she found out I had the kid. She stopped talking to me, started talking at me. <clears throat> so I left, and then shit. I'm a kid at fourteen, but I'm street smart, so I know mm. I can't be weak. <clears throat> so I put up so many walls and shit that by the time I got married, like if you could look at my pictures through high school and like halfway through college, I never smiled. Damn, I was just like I was just like like hey, stern face. So I just learned about intimacy. I just learned about affection. Yeah. Like I didn't think that those went hand in hand without sex. Mm. I think affection, oh, sex, got it, got intimacy, it. sex. Mm. Like so, my when my wife and my daughter moved in with me out here. My daughter would just hug me, like hug me around my waist and my legs, and I would I would literally freeze because I didn't know the correct response. Yeah. I did not know how to be a loving dad, bro. When my son was here, I, I was like, I was just a hood nigga daddy. I was a yeah. fucking 14-year-old. I got him listening to 3-6 Mafia. He's screaming weak-ass <laughs> bitch at the grocery store, bro. Like, I ain't know how to, you know what I'm saying? I was with him. I made sure he ate and shit like that. And when I was in high school, I didn't have a, a, a babysitter. So I would I would bring him to school with me. Like, the book, the bookkeeper at the, at the bottom of the school would watch yeah. my son for me. Or he would walk, like when I was doing a, a band practice, he would walk around the school with me. He would hold my reeds while I played saxophone. Everybody knew my son. Damn. Like I was the only motherfucker in high school bringing their kid to school because I had no fucking babysitter. Damn. Do so, you still play saxophone? I haven't in a while, but Damn. I play alto, tenor, sax, bass, clarinet, clarinet, bass, and snare drum. Damn. I played Hell a marching yeah. and concert band from like middle school until. Hell yeah. That's why you don't make fun of me because I cheered. Bro, I, 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 I don't make fun of you because I fuck with anybody that got enough confidence to go against the grain. I respect that more than anything. When you did that set on stage, I was like, that's a motherfucker that know itself. Yeah. You can't ever question him. Yeah. Because if a motherfucker oh, wow. don't do I that try type all of the shit, time. <laughs> like, yo, and, and then you're like, he's fucking, yeah. he's ripped too yeah. at the time when he saw, saw some of the yeah, pictures. At the, yeah, at the time. Yeah, I mean, but it's still though, <laughs> like, bro, right like, you're not a, you're not an easy come up. You're not saying anybody rich is just run up on you and think you're going to be like, yeah. you know, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like yeah. me. So, yeah. <laughs> People think I'm tough till they right. hear me talk. And I'd know. be like, all right. So, Way okay. to blow him down. <laughs> so, with, with to hear having his son in the car, what was your favorite song? Or I guess your favorite song Whenever. to play in the car. Uh, yeah. Uh, What'd you put? Chemistry, right. bro. Yeah. Well, Love calls. calls. Oh, I don't know this song. Do I know this? I'm sitting here thinking about it tonight. I don't know this. Oh, it's a fucking groove, bro. This has been my favorite song, like probably my favorite jazz song since it came out. I used to think I would never fall in love So Kim is this artist, and I think he's from Detroit. But he used to, he sounds similar, very similar to Al Jarreau. Al Jarreau is my mom's favorite jazz artist. Mm -hmm. He's Ooh. a scat artist. Okay. And Kim sounds very similar to Al. And this song was just perfectly bro, done, bro. you could bro. just roll with this. All fucking day. Wow. This is really fucking good. It's so good, bro. It makes you just like. It just makes you feel grown in that piece. Yeah. So like when I was having those hard days and shit like that, I would I would listen to this song to like calm me down. I would yeah. ride for like 30, 45 minutes and just have this song repeat. Oh God, that makes nice I bet, nice I bet too. this this song at night with the windows down. Yep. Oh yeah. Just driving. And bro, I had a I had oh. a car on me. Like I I bought my first car at sixteen. I had a 2000 Monster Protégé. I bought it the, the year pro, it came The Protégé? Remember protégé. the Protégé? Had eight miles on it when I drove it off the lot. Eight. Damn. You bought that You you bought that shit? I, I was at least, I, mean, I was paying for it, right? Yeah, paying yeah. $400 a month. I'm working at, at this point, I'm working at White Castles, still doing a little uh, junkyard shit, but I'm also like hitting White Castles for the lick too, right? Yeah. So I'm paying 400 a month for this. My insurance, 300 right? I got four tiers in the back. Two TVs in the back headrest. I got a DVD player and a VCR player. Bruh. And I got a TV on the fucking dashboard. I got a black light lamp on the fucking windshield. So me and my cousin used to ride around with white t-shirts. Shit glowing, right? Hell you got yeah. the contacts in. Like belly. Home, right? I yeah. got the t-shirts on. I mean, the TV's on. I got porn playing on the fucking TV going crazy with. This is what you did in the early 2000s. You yeah. got the TVs going with the porn playing on it, right? I got the seats let down on the back Sun seat. In so the, 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 yeah. the four is yeah. hitting. <laughs> Hitting yeah. that motherfucker. I got all of this shit. 
with no car alarm. I'm a wild ass boy, bro. <laughs> them motherfuckers broke into my shit senior year, stole everything. <sighs> you know what's stole so, the CD it's player, so DCR, wild. DVD, the the whole speaker thing, the TVs, all of that. Stole all of that shit, bro. I was making so much fucking money, bro. Pulling up to White Castle in a Mazda protege. Yeah. That it only had eight miles on it when he drove it off the lot. Mm-hmm. Think about it, at White Castle. Yep. Yeah, you yeah. see those uniforms. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but if, I was making so much money. But he getting out of the protege. I went back the next day with everything in place. I said, y'all can't, y'all, y'all can't fuck me. And so the little homies that was at the school that sold dope and shit was like, what do you do, bro? I know they just hit it. I had the window replaced, already tinted. I had brand new sound system. I had brand new TVs in it. That I just quit, got the, that that, that, the very next day. Uh. They broke into my shit probably about 11 a.m. Because people was like, yo, yo, trunk open. I went outside because I used to park at a teacher slot. I was the class president in, in, my, uh, in high school in my, my, grad, my senior year. So I parked with the teacher's park and shit because I'm like, they ain't going to break into it. By uh-huh. the teacher, broke into my goofy ass. Oh, wait, shit. we're so three I'm, years apart. I'm 37. I'm, oh, yeah, I'm, I'm 2002. Okay, 2002, you graduated? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they broke into my shit, all of that. They, they got everything. I came back the next day, everything back. That I was is... like, y'all can't fuck with me, bro. Like, I'm different, bro. Like, y'all do little boy shit. Y'all, I'm telling you, you can't You fuck know what, man? Me. There, there is something different. Like, like people that like grind in the way that you did. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And uh, and and when you're out of that life and you grind in like a different way, like my so my, my biological dad, he did he did 17 years, uh, in prison mm-hmm. or whatever. He was a drug dealer, you mm-hmm. know what I mean? And like the way he he has that like same like kind of drive that he was had for drug like when he was drug dealing, mm-hmm. but it's just it's just in le- it's legit. Mm-hmm. Like he yeah. just turned it like legit now, yeah. which is like Jay Z. All that shit. Ooh. Yeah, Jay, Jay-Z, yeah. All those people. Oh, yeah, yeah. That yeah. Sorry, sorry, from... sorry. I don't know why I said who. <laughs> <laughs> you said it who like it was completely unreasonable too. <laughs> Adopted. Hey, you scared <laughs> me, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. But yeah, there's a there's a different grit with those kind of people that have like done that kind yeah. of life and also to be able to survive it mm-hmm. and make it out of it and then go a completely different route like the you see the drive yeah you don't complain people. about the little things either. no like, you realize what a luxury life is now and you don't want to go back to that oh my yeah. dad my dad's probably the happiest he's ever been yeah. since he's been out of yeah. prison i know you know I what i mean man. like it's like crazy yeah i fuck with it man damn okay Ooh, let's let's take it here best live music oh, you've ever yeah. seen anderson pop hands down really? oh wow i saw Hell anderson yeah. pop Randomly at the Ace Hotel. This is shortly after uh, Malibu came out, mm. and the shit was so amazing. I told oh, the my spot wife, downtown, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, 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 yeah. I said, "Yo, wherever he's performing next, we're going." Looked online, saw he's gonna be in Vegas at the House of Blues. A couple weeks later, bought our tickets, drove out there. We in a Chevy Cruze. I'm talking about the shit when you turn the AC on. The fucking you feel the power lose in the car. <laughs> we went out there, got an Airbnb, had a fucking amazing time. This man would. Go from singing to the drums or playing the drums while singing effortlessly without missing a fucking beat. Damn. It was one of the best concerts we had ever been to. Damn. Then we went to go see him again in San Diego. I've seen Anderson Park probably about five or six times now. Really? Amazing. Have you seen him live? No, he was at the store. I saw him at the comedy store. Oh, he's store. at the comedy yeah, store. Yeah, but I'm, I'm checking this Bro, out. Bro, his tiny desk yeah. it's, is it's, it's fucking up, it's up there for amazing. A reason. It's up there for a and reason. And he, he comes swinging out the I gate with that yeah, tiny. And so um, smooth. Y'all niggas got me hot. Yeah. Oh. I, man, The uh, Dreamer is one of my favorite songs oh, yeah. ever. Uh, yeah. yeah. I love it. Look at that fucking hi hat hand. Uh, Just fucking. Hey. And that's exactly what the nigga came uh, for. God. It's amazing, bro. It's so good. He's so good. He's gonna. I would put him right under Prince. I saw Prince when wow. he did. Oh, you the saw 30, Prince when he did the thirty days at the farm. He yeah, did like thirty performances at the farm. Yeah, he had a different guest with him every weekend. The day I was, uh, he had Sheila E with him. Oh, that was like eleven years ago or something, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah it, was, it was shortly after I had moved here. Maybe he came like came in 20, on a horse or something. 2011, 2012, something like that. Okay, yeah. but maybe it had to be like you know, eleven. Yeah, but yeah, man. At the forum, it was amazing. Um, so, so break that down. What, why, why, why do you put him, bro? Um, it's one thing to have talent, and it's another thing to have talent with showmanship. Hmm. You know, what I'm saying we all know somebody from high school, or our hometown, that could sing and never did anything with that talent. Yep. And in my opinion, that's the most disrespectful thing you could do to God. When <laughs> God uses you as a vessel and fills you with an amazing talent to share with to the world. 
and you selfishly or lazily do nothing with it, mm -hmm. I feel like it's the biggest slap in the face. I had a homeboy who could sing Reese, Reese, could sing yeah. it, but he was like 6'4", 290. He played football and he never wanted to sing. Like, I ain't singing that shit. We worked at White Castle together and he would be singing. And I'm like, bro, if you sing, you will make it. I was like, bro, I will, I will put any and every dollar I got behind you. Damn. Like, I believe in him that much, but he never would do it. And Anderson has talent and showmanship. Like, when he's on a when he's on the drums, like he's still like you feel it oh, in the movement. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When he's at the microphone, he's giving it to you. Then he gets the stories in between, and then he's just the build up to it with the light show and everything, and the choreography, and then the live instrumentation. I'm a sucker for live instrumentation. Yeah, so, like just everything and how it all comes together, bro. It was just an amazing experience. Like I've been to a lot of concerts. I haven't been to a lot of experiences. Yeah. Oh wow. Hell yeah. Wow. That right there, bro. Like, that was a bar. Yeah, it's some shit that you you can't wait to tell people about. Like yeah. I don't try to brag too much, but I'm like, you ain't never seen Anderson. Yeah, yeah. Hey, that, I, I'm telling you that that's how I felt when I saw Kendrick because I saw Kendrick before he had anything. He played this tiny club in mm -hmm. Arizona. It, it and the club it wasn't even a sold out show. He was headlining. Yeah, it wasn't even a sold out show, and he came out and and like I softly knew who he was. Yeah, or whatever. But when he came out, I was like. There's something completely different yeah. about this performance. It was just something so different, and like, and and I, I, I like I said, I softly knew who he was, but he had me fucking hyped. Yeah. And then fast forward to like years later, I see him uh, headline the uh, the Honda Center. Yeah. Uh, like last year or whatever it was. Is that Anaheim? Yeah, Anaheim. Okay. Like, yeah, yeah. I saw him headline that, and I go, "What is this? This no, was crazy. Like, it was like, I love when you feel like you got your money's worth." Oh, um, did I? That that's all I want to do as a comic. Yeah, that's why I dress the way I dress on stage. That's why I, I try to do something when I come out that's gonna get them. Just make fucking, it fucking dope, man. I want them to feel satisfied that they spent yeah. their hard earned money with me. That's that's yes. my goal, bro. So that's the fucking I get it. That, and that that's the goal as an entertainer. Mm -hmm. Like it's like yeah, like, like they, these people fucking bought a ticket. Cause they wanted to see you, and they drove, wanted to show. Put they on drove, clothes, maybe find a babysitter. Yeah, babysitter, yeah. all all the yeah. above, whatever they had to do. Maybe maybe, maybe these, some of these people got to work early the next day, bro. but they wanted a fucking show that night, bro. And it's like, why not fucking go, go out there crazy. And, and go crazy and do the best that you can fucking do? I I make it so I got to hit my inhaler after every set. Oh I'm damn! Crazy <laughs> I'm going fucking crazy. I got that butyrol on deck. Bitch. Hell yeah! As soon as I get off stage. <laughs> Pumping through the AC yeah. system. Yeah. Hi, 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 yeah. Hi, good night. I die on stage. If I die on stage, that'd be the that'd be the, the dopest way for me to go. Just I left it all on the stage, left bro. It like all I on left the stage. nothing. Yeah. I, so nothing so he much. and I have a band together. Mm -hmm. We have we have a hardcore punk band, and we literally like it's the same. It's the same thing with that. Like yeah. we go hard in stand up too. But like when we put on a show, like we. Go crazy with we it. We go yeah. fucking. Mm -hmm. I've, we've said it. We're we're ready to die up there. Like, <laughs> yeah. exactly. I'm not gonna have. Are y'all ruining any equipment though? Are y'all costing each other money too? No, no, I, no. no, 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 no. Alright, motherfuckers, let's, <laughs> let's reel it back a little bit. <laughs> I let's get to, famous before yeah. we do that shit. Know, yeah, 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 get some yeah. brand deals. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We no, can, I got a we nice new drum kit. I'm not. I'm not even letting people use my shit anymore. Sometimes he won't even bring that bitch out. Yeah, I get it. I get it, bro. So yeah, that's Anderson, man. Anderson Pocket. Damn, that's yeah, that's a great one. All right then, so karaoke. Your, your go-to karaoke song. I'm, yeah, here we I'm, go. I'm strongly curious. I ain't looking yet. Me either. Don't look. Don't look. Don't look. Here's the thing: we started out friends. Oh, since it was cool, but it was, was all pretend. pretend. Yeah, 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 bitch, nigga. Since, Since you've been gone, <laughs> I gotta throw the little ad libs yeah. in. Uh, hey, uh. Hey, hey. You dedicated, you took the time. It wasn't long till I called you my eye. Yeah, yeah, bitch, nigga. Since you've been gone, I almost said it. Uh, 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 I know you never hear me say it's hard picture we with you. Yep. I, I don't you ever hear me say, but what? But since you been gone, uh, I'm jumping up and down, fist bump, fist bruh, bump. I can't so, breathe for yeah. the first time. Albuterol. I'm Albuterol. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Hey, low key. Yeah. You always have to use it after this one. <laughs> so, I go crazy. Let me tell song. you, my favorite part of the song is when she hits that. 
You no. had your chance. No, 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 no. It's after one. the bridge. So go fast forward to, closer toward the end. Get no. Again, no, um, more. Right here. So hold on, wait. It's, bro, because she gives it her all. Oh, okay. this one, enjoy. A song with it all. Yeah, yeah, right here. Thanks to you. Right now, I get, I get what? Right there. Mm, 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 mm. That's my. That's, I have somebody do that part for me. I know. I'm going that's to die, time, bro. That's the one time he passed oh. away. He ain't with it. <laughs> I can't do it, bro. Going to die on stage <laughs> singing Kelly Clark. Uh, <laughs> that'd be a horrible way to go. But like at that point, she has to dedicate something to me. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So she my gotta, family's yeah. good for the rest of their life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Something. I, mean, something. I got a plan with everything I do, bro. Yeah. I don't do anything half cock, bro. Everything. Is, everything oh, I is believe attention. it. I believe it. Everything is attention. But just hearing your story, I'm like, this motherfucker goes. One thousand percent. Yeah, man. Yeah. <laughs> oh shit, that's a great karaoke Thank song. Thank you, bro. That yeah. shit. That should have given people never, mad. No one ever expects this black guy to go up. This, you know, whatever I may have on at the time, but they never expect me to do that. Yeah. Damn. It's a full on carpet pool. Also, from it's, it's such a big song, and it, it fucking is. just. It's hits. me, bro. It's me. Is this? That's that energy. Yeah. Uh huh. What you shut your shut bitch Chappelle. ass up? No, I'm just thinking. Okay, so this is a little sad, but really funny. When Chappelle's, uh, when Chappelle's, was it your brother or your cousin? Yeah, no, brother. When his brother passed, I don't know my cousin. Chappelle went to the funeral. Oh. <laughs> and his aunt, uh, had a fucking. <laughs> she started singing "I Will Always Love You" by Whitney Houston at the funeral, full song. She sang all the, 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 even got to the third chorus or third verse. Yeah. Man, here's, <laughs> they here's, were the all just like... here's the thing. My aunt, not a singer. <laughs> <laughs> so imagine, imagine picking the hardest song. And I'm sitting here and my mom is like, oh my God. Cause no one knew that wasn't part of the fucking plan. Yeah. She Her singing in. was not oh, on she the. She <laughs> gave the organist $20 and was like, <laughs> leave some room. <laughs> leave some room. <laughs> Oh, I pictured her with those karaoke machines that light Morgan. up like the, the speakers with the colors and stuff. Lisa Rose. With the, hey, for hey. what? No, no, no. no, no, no. Just, hey, Lisa, You'll see. This is Lisa Rose. You sure? <laughs> I'm telling you, it was so bad. I love the, the, the quiet at the beginning. Every step of <laughs> the way. Oh. And everybody's like, I'm telling you. Fuck. How you gonna uh, how you gonna pick one of the best singers of all time? Yeah. And you're gonna pick that song to sing at my brother's funeral? <sighs> Duality, baby. <laughs> you used to love it, now you hate it, baby. Du you Duality. <laughs> Duality was her name, yeah, actually. Right, yeah, that's, her, that's my auntie name, Duality. <laughs> oh shit, man. Golly. Man, yeah. Oh, that's good. I know. That's Tell. Good. Okay, let's see where you're at here. All right. Song you play when feeling sad. Yeah. What's this one? So, this is called G's Walk In. And yeah. this is just Damn, a... Look at that car. I know, fuck. That's actually his real car, too. This Damn. is Currency. The, the dude? Oh, oh, oh Currency. currency. I've seen been, Currency a few times. So, Currency has been one of my underrated. favorite... Underrated. Jet Life. Underrated. Have the time. We didn't have the time to talk about it. But Damn. I'll just say this. I've been fucking yeah. with Currency since No Limit fuck with him. Yeah. Right? Damn. Um, I fuck with him to the point where, like... At one point, he dropped 14 pieces of work every month. Like, every for a month yep. straight, for 14 months straight, he yep. dropped a, piece of, a, a, a couple pieces of work. And I had been listening to his music for so long. I put so many people on to him. My, one of my best friends, Clint Coley, I put him on to him. Like, this is during that 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 drop, that 10 for 30. This is during that yep. drop that he dropped all of these projects. And so I reached out to a couple times when he did my show, working his hard, all that type of stuff. And it's just like a just an admirable figure in my life. So I had this uh, 77, no, 70, 77 Monte Carlo I had fixed up, bought by accident, got it repainted, redid the interior, all of that. And I hit him up one day. It was like, hey, you got a, you got a Monte Carlo? I didn't probably was a Monte Carlo. He's like, nah, I've been you know, trying to pull one together. I pieced like three together at the junk drawer this past Friday. I was like, I got a Monte Carlo for you. He's like, stop lying. I was like, swear to God, it's already, already done. I had it on Vimeo because I was fit to sell it. So I had mm. videos and everything of it. I sent them the link. I was like, you got people out here, come come grab it. Grabbed it. They cut it and, and, and put the switches on it. It's been in like 12 of his videos right Damn, now. Damn, hell I just yeah. gave it to him just like, bro, this is how much music means to me. And this is how much I appreciate what Damn. you do for music. Like, by all means, bro, like, take this. Damn. And it was crazy because it was the weekend that Young Dolph had died. He got yeah. killed. 
and they were super close. And he was in a really dark Percy space when I hit him. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was like, bro, you don't even know what this means. He's like, I was in a dark space because I just got the word the homie got. Yeah. And I've been like fucked up all day, but like you just showing this type of love right now. That's like pulling me out of this. That's and so like anytime wild. I go to New Orleans, I go to the Jet Life store. Fuck he lace yeah. me with whatever I want. Yeah. We kick it. I went to go see him at uh, House of Blues down there last time I was there. Just hung out with him. His uh his uh manager Musa came brought me in a section, so I'm just chilling in the yeah. with all the jet life. He was like, I was like, what I gotta do to get the chain? He was like, come down more. And he's like, so Damn. the moment I got more time to just hang out in New Orleans, I get the jet life train. Hell Damn. Yeah. My favorite rapper. Yeah. Damn. I've seen him a few times. I can't remember where, but Yeah, he's super yeah, Oh, he's awesome, he's man. super underrated. Such yeah. a fun like vibe it, it, to did it. Did him and too. Wiz do like a mixtape together? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, uh-huh. yeah. yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep. That was one of the one of the best. That's yes. crazy. Yeah, man. Super underrated rapper, yeah. man. He, he actually has probably, I think, the biggest discography out of any rapper right now. Damn. Damn. Biggest. Hands down. Over Wayne, huh? It, yes. I think it Easy. might have been the Belasco. I think he did two shows in one night. There mm-hmm. was like an 8 o'clock and then like a 10.30 or and something. And here's, here's the thing about Currency. Like, if you know, you love him. Yeah. There's there's no like, there's no like. Die hard fans, There's no bro. like, oh, there's no like kind of, you know, no, he's got die hard. Yeah. Bro, die it's, hard. It's, it's, it's great, man. The city's he's behind fucking, him. Yes. Fucks with him heavy. He has he got like he's 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 close to the like He seems like he does his own thing. He does. He stay out the way. He stays out the way. It's like his this own works thing. for me. I ain't gotta do nothing. I can yeah. tour and be rich forever. I buy cars, I buy cool clothes, I smoke good weed. That's all he wants. Bro. Yeah. And he does that. And he does and, that. And that song, remi- uh, you play it when you feel sad. Because that yeah. was the, the story. Oh, because well, of that. Well, not just that, because I, that was my favorite before the story, but I play it when I'm sad because um it's like uh, the song is like when the G's walk in, everything froze. You were in the room with your bitch trying to hide your hoes. And it's like, it's just something that like make me remember how cool I am. Everything that I made it through. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Everything that I have. Uh, the hardest battles that I've faced, I've conquered them. Mm-hmm. So yeah. it's like, like, why you letting this shit get you down? Go back to G mode. Go back to being yeah. cool. You got this shit. Nice. So it's just like a reset. Pulls this shit just pulls you in. Yeah. 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 It resets yeah. me real quick. And it's a great ride and song. I got a, I got a couple old schools and shit. So this is something great. Yeah. Let's throw on the car. Hell turn yeah. the beat speakers up and That's just ride through. shit. Well, yeah, if man. you ever want to give one of those away, I would. Gotcha, bro. <laughs> gotcha. Gotcha. Okay. Uh, song that reminds you of love. Ah, oh, man. Come live with me, Angel. Oh, my favorite artist mm. of all times, hands down, it's Marvin Gaye. Marvin Gaye was such a fucking iconic. Hey, is this the painting from Good Times? Yeah, this is the iconic painting. Yeah, Eddie Murphy owns that. Yeah, he owned that one and that uh, duplicate. Sold the duplicate, and I think he bought the original at that time for like fifty thousand from Marvin Gaye's estate. Yeah. And so now I think it's now worth it's like three like, million. Yep. Yeah. Oof. I mean, just listen to him on the track, though. Like, listen. You know who sampled this? Uh, Somebody, uh, I know the sample, uh, but... 50 Cent G-Unit. Yeah. Okay. They sampled yeah, it. With Joe. Yeah, with Joe. Yep. So, Marvin Gaye used to be, you know, the, the crooner, clean face, blazer type of guy. And then, like, the reality of what was going on in the environment, like, really set in. And so, then he made what's going on. And they was like, we're never going to be able to play this on the radio. He's like, I don't care. This is a song I want to put out. Yeah. And from that moment on, he changed to like a singer for the people. And he just like his whole oh, style. Yeah. Like, I didn't like the crew in the Marvin. Yeah. I like this Marvin. I like red beanie, crunchy beard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Velour pants, goddamn uh-huh. cardigan on. Like that motherfucking Marvin, this Marvin. He had great he was, style. Bro, 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 great style. This is, this, is, this is my favorite artist. This is my favorite song. Damn, yeah. that's this. Yeah. Woo. Oh, hey, it's just you, a, just a cruel hey, we, ass song. You bro. love love, right? I do. When did you when did you start? You, you, you said it earlier, I think. But when did you start to like love love and like get it? I always loved it. I couldn't display it. God, I looked at, it, was, I looked at it, it as weakness. It I thought it was. I thought somebody would be able to manipulate me from it or yeah. abuse me for it. So I, I never really just showed it. But I always love love, man. I always love love. I just didn't know how to show That's it. That's a fucking great song. Yeah, man. That's perfect, bro. Come live with me, Angel. Uh, Bruh, damn. I'm playing when I leave here, bro. Loud as I can. It yeah. Makes, it make you feel good, dog. So and if good. you got some time, put that shit on in an empty room and just and just move like this through the room. Yeah. And you're going to feel Even good, Even if you ain't got rhythm, move. Yeah, just feel good. Bro, when you're moving like that on a song like that and you with somebody that makes you feel like that, rhythm don't matter. Uh, One of y'all got it, and I guarantee you, the other person going to help the other person, bro. It, that show, oh, it's just a good fucking song. Damn. Yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah. Okay, I'm ready for this one. Yeah. Your favorite 
workout slash hype song. Uh, Let's see what he finds. Annie up. No, I'm kidding. I know, right? Oh, oh yeah. Dude. I love this album. Come on. Dude. G-Unit. G-Unit. What? We in here. What? We gonna get the drama popping. We a bump, bump, bump. It's going down. Because I'm around. 50 Cent, you know how I guess down. What up, blood? What up, cuz? What up, blood? What up, gangsta? So this came out after you graduated. Uh, this, this was 03. 2000 and... I think it was 03. Was it 03? I thought I was like, 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 like 02 or 03. But I do remember still being at White Castle when, it, when I was playing that. So, so the wild thing about them. this album, like, it was the first album I felt. Because when I when I grew up, like, I list, obviously I was listening to, like, a lot of rock. Mm. But I loved Snoop Dogg. Dr. Dre, mm-hmm. all that shit, like NWA. I loved that stuff. You know what I mean? Because my stepdad, he listened to a lot of that in the yeah. house. So when this when this album came out, that was the first album where I felt like that energy of it what I so felt authentic. like, and it was so authentic. And oh, I was like, man. bro. And then and then the cover, I was like, dog, like, yeah, you know. And I felt bro. like I looked like this dude too. So yeah. I was just like, it just made me like yeah. feel it. I yeah, there's a few th- artists that can invoke. For me, somebody that's not easily influenced, I'm not influenced by peer pressure. I didn't drink till I was 27. Like, oh, damn. I, I didn't do no drugs and none of that shit. Yeah. I was excited to be here. Like, yeah, coming yeah, from yeah. the life I live, I was really just fucking excited yeah. to be here. Yeah, yeah, 50 was the first person that made me, like, want to start a list like Arya Stark and, like, get some get back on niggas. <laughs> yeah. And it's very difficult for somebody to yeah. invoke that type of emotion. Yeah. It yeah. takes yeah. a special type of yeah. person to invoke that type of emotion. I was like, this shit powerful, bro. Powerful. Yeah. And, like, it's just, like, it changed me, bro. Man, and not I, in a bad way, but just like, like I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm not soft spoken, but I don't look for confrontation. I'd rather be like, "All right, bro, you got it, right?" Yeah, 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 of course. And if I'm listening to this, and I'm headed to your house, I'm coming <laughs> to fuck shit up. Yeah, I'm, call the cops because they're the only ones that's gonna stop me. Yes, yeah. yes, I, the only ones. But yeah, yes. it, he was, he, was, it, bro, it, it was just different. So yeah. I saw him, li- I saw him live on the, his recent tour that he's doing mm. right now oh, at, man, the, at the at the uh, at the crypto. Yeah, dog, you fr- I for- you forget how many fucking yeah, hits. hits his whole set is hits, his whole set. And what so what was crazy? He uh, I think he opened with this. He opened with oh. this. And oh. let me tell you, Great I, I, t- I tell him this story because yeah. it, it was like my favorite part. And it was just cool being able to see this in L.A. And I live in L.A. Yeah. But my favorite part, even though I don't come from this culture, yeah. but when he does the what up blood, what up cuz part mm-hmm. in the crypto arena yeah. in L.A., yeah. bro, all you it's just different. see is. Oh, yeah. But it was like. Hella stacking. Yeah. Hella stacking. Yeah. Yeah. But I thought it was so cool. Like, I, I and I don't live, I don't want to live that culture. Yeah. Yeah, I have yeah, no yeah. desire. But it was just like. It was cool to see the peace treaty in that space. Yeah. 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 Yes. Yeah. That's what was like. So dope when he got to that part. And I'm telling you, every they were stacking when, it, and, and then you just hear everybody in the arena so saying crazy. it. Uh, like I get yeah. chills from it. That was like it was like one of the dopest things that I like that I've like seen. Uh, like yeah, I felt like I was like, yo, I'm in L. A. Yeah, man. you know what I mean. It's a surreal moment. It's that, a surreal moment. That was a, a core memory that was created that night. And I feel like music is one of the few like vehicles that drives like like lasting core memories mm. yeah because so many things are associated with with sound slash music or like smell slash mm-hmm. taste yeah but music is one of those ones that it will com- continue to do it because there's so much music around yeah we probably didn't even we probably didn't even touch the surface on how much music around because I I, how many how many of us actually listen to music from around the world like i yeah. love bossa nova some good okay. ass spanish, spanish jet oh yeah, yeah yeah i got a fucking playlist that'll blow your mind i got some fucking japanese r&b I'm talking about for like from the '70s, like funk. Type oh shit. yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I know some of that blow stuff. Your yeah, mind. yeah. I make playlists every week when, or bi- bi-weekly for for my Patreon and my followers, and I post it. And I have subscriptions to titles, uh, Apple, Spotify, and SoundCloud. Yeah, the highest ones on each one, so I could just post the music and give it away because oh, yeah. I love music that much. Damn, I fucking love it. That's man. what's awesome. That's what's awesome about this podcast. Like, yeah. Kind of, yeah. like we like doing this concept because it's just like. We get to learn about yeah. people in in a in a different way, and a lot of like, I think I feel like everybody has a soundtrack to some specific part Ooh, of their life. Fuck yeah, you know what I mean. So it's like cool to like have 
you know, uh, yeah. these songs. That and record it, made me want to like start robbing people. Uh, not to, me not to blame oh. art for violence, but <laughs> that song. That, but it, oh. makes, it makes you feel a type yeah, of way. It make you feel a way. Yeah, when I like, heard Heat and he had the, the gunshots as the snare mm-hmm. drum, I was like, oh, oh my dog. God. Mm-hmm. Dog, I mean, I'm telling you. And we're not even thinking about like the shit that was on G Unit, too. The G Unit first album was that crazy. That G Unit album was that crazy. That first album was crazy. Dog. What was the, what's the line? If you were smart, then you get shook with me because I get tired of looking, looking for, for you. Spray your mom. I'm a and let, let your ass, ass look for me. me. I was Dog. like, if it's beat, probably uh, yeah. 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 And he, and like, he meant that shit. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah dude. Especially when you they heard think. that he got shot nine times. They I was think. like, and he survived. I was like, oh. Logic was shooking me. <laughs> and I think he, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. he, he let your ass like look me. And he was working with Jam Master J for a while before, uh, I guess, or, um, yeah, Jam Master J from Run DMC had a yeah. studio, I guess, in New mm-hmm. York. That's where he and got shot at. Fifty was, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. Not Jam Master J, but yeah. yeah, that's what Jam. I mean, not Fifty, but Jam Master J. Well, I think he did he how to how to studio? rob or whatever yeah. there at that studio that first. He got shot outside his shooting, not Fifty, but uh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, yeah. oh, fi- yeah, Fifty. Fifty was like, like I said, like that was a guy that like, I was like, oh, I kind of look like this dude, you know what I yeah. mean? And like, yeah. and I was like, oh, you can like, I don't know, like I, I felt like. All the things that I felt in my youth, especially around that time when this album came out, and like the the anger that I had, mm-hmm. it was I feel like for me it was like a perfect yeah album. It was, a, it, was it was just like it was like everything yeah. I needed, and I was like Ooh. yeah. And he had you the tray. It, it, it's like but meanwhile it's like I, I'm not like looking for it, right. but if it, if it happens, I'm, I'm, I'm ready. ready. Yeah. Yep, <laughs> yeah, I'm ready. Baby. I'm ready for it. Yes. Okay. Uh. All right. Ooh, your desert island album. Oh damn. I know, I don't want to look. I saw it already, but... You saw it? Wow. Hell yeah. R.I.P. Yeah, R.I.P. Bobby Caldwell has an amazing discography, and he got hits for days. Hits. And it's just a, it's just a feel-good thing. It's like... It's the closest thing to, like, no worries outside of, like, reggae. Because reggae yeah. just screams that. Screams but, like, sometimes, that. like, I just need a little bit more structure. Mm. Yeah. And, like, this... Just, you have it all. You have very chill songs, and it just make you feel like oh, everything gonna feel. It's gonna all be all right. This song Bro, what, fucking what, rules, what, man. What he's like done done for like the culture, yeah, for black culture, and like yeah. you know, like even though he's a white dude, yeah. But the and way so many he, people didn't know, yeah, and, and a lot of people didn't know yeah. he was a white guy. Like literally up until like maybe 10, 15 years. Yeah, ago, exactly. It was a big people thing. never. Knew My him. mom had all his albums, didn't know he was white. Damn. Really? And one of the albums he's on, like he has on like a brown coat and a hat and all of that. And I'm like, she was like, I thought he was light skinned. <laughs> My mom didn't know. She wasn't wrong. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is this is that shit though. This is fucking yeah, yeah. This is, a, a lot of hip hop oh, artists have sampled yeah his oh, shit. Man. You know, this is this is this is just a great. He's a he was a dope artist. So dope Shout artist. To Bobby, I will. Oh. That's a perfect, ooh. Yeah, it's just a feel-good yeah. song, man. Yeah, the one desert. Good cleanup island. song. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Sweeping the desert. <laughs> it's so funny. It's so funny how <laughs> sweeping the desert. <laughs> I'm going to change the song when I get done with this <laughs> thing. That's like it. Remember, remember in Spaceballs when he has them comb in comb the in desert? Comb in the desert with a big-ass comb? And then they afro pick the, the black dudes, and they go, we ain't found oh, shit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, fuck, oh that was a great parody movie, oh, bro. Oh, my God. It's so great <laughs> parody movie, bro. <laughs> shit was amazing, though. Oh, gosh. All right. Final question. Yeah. Uh, Well, we have a secret yeah, question. Bonus. Okay. A bonus question. Uh, Okay, here's the uh, guilty pleasure song. Mm. Bro. <laughs> I, I said this last time. That Tony had a Stevie Wonder song when he was <laughs> on, and I said this last time when we pulled up a Tony. Or sorry, pulled up a Stevie Wonder. Every time I look at this, I just keep thinking Eddie Murphy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. When he did the he did the yeah, that, that, that version, what was it on Saturday Night Live? Yeah, I, think so, yeah. I always think about how big those drops of sweat are. I was like, where was he at? <laughs> oh yeah, that's not a look regular up. drop of sweat, bro. Well, like, you know, when you're blind, all your other senses are stronger, <laughs> so he sweat. That should like. affect the sweat. <laughs> <laughs> well, been. I wasn't gonna burn his eyes. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, this is just a uh, just a. Damn, this isn't even guilty. This is just good. This is fucking good. Uh. Come on. I would love to hear the isolated vocal track. I've never heard this song. Really? Yeah, I've never heard this. Rocket Love? Yeah, it gets so good toward the end. Can we go maybe about... The Bills. The passion burning in your heart. 
All right, so you see where it's at right now? Let's go right there, right to the end of right there. He started like going on that huh? Oh, that Ooh. drum mix is so good, man. Oh. When he just like puts it all into it, they say he put a yell. Oh, yeah. Phenomenal singer. Yo! <laughs> he missed it, dog. That's all. I got Yo. this. I got this running joke with Campbell Say. I was like, bro, I'm going to go as hard as I can until I start barking on the track and see what <laughs> And I was like, bro, like, he meant that shit so, like, that song invoked that out of him, bro. Imagine what it's going to do. Come oh. to, you think about Stevie on keys and harmonica and he's blind yeah. and he's still making this amazing music. He was like, bro, like, he had to be like, I'm killing this shit. Uh. I was like... That's one of my favorite parts Ooh. right there, dog. You know what, man? You know what's so crazy, too? You know how good of a musician you have to be to play with Stevie? Because he knows it, like, like he knows it so well. Forward and backward. You know what I mean? Because, like, because of his, you know, his, you know, you know him being blind and stuff yeah. like that, like, you know, like, obviously, he, he's not, he can't read music. Yeah. But he can, he can feel it and feel it to where it's almost like, you know, metronome perfect. They might have music in Braille. He can't sight read. He can't though. But he could memorize it yeah. probably. Yeah, he just does. He wants. Yeah. He does it once over. Yeah, and then he yeah, goes. Let me to see. The let keys. me see. If I, <laughs> but like, do I do? Hold on. Wait, wait, wait. What was that? What? <laughs> yeah. What was that? Play that part again. <laughs> like, fuck, you heard yeah. me. <laughs> yeah, I can't wait to see his biopic. I thought, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. This is a blank screen. <laughs> <laughs> Michael, you can you look up Stevie Wonder isolated vocal track because he's such a phenomenal singer, and I just want to see if there's like really anything, anything isolated. Let's see. Oh, cool, acapella. That looks like AI. It's they use an app that yeah, it, yeah, it, yeah, yeah, yeah it's all good. Yeah, yeah, it's all He's good, a great yeah. singer. We yeah. get it. I just uh, okay, ask him the secret question. Okay, oh, all right. Uh, when uh, when you shoot a special or your next special or whatever, what what is the song that you'll come out to? Ah oh, man, it depends on what that special is for me. If it's something more about my family. It's probably gonna be something, but I can't name right now because gotcha. um, it would it would it would be a a toss up between like three songs. Okay, but if it's just a fun special, like oh, I got to get thirty minutes off and get to yeah. people real quick. <laughs> it's probably gonna be Big Boogie, um, and he has a track called uh, Oh shit, what is it that was coming out today? Uh, Pop off, pop out. Pop out by Big Boogie, B O O G I E. Let's see if I know this. Hell yeah. <laughs> oh damn! As soon as that fucking bass comes in, <laughs> you hit that I up. did this for like a, a year straight, year and a half straight. Now I was come out to this and I go hype on the stage and I'm like, she said, said Boogie, boy, stop bitching, ho, I'm not your last nigga. That's your past nigga. I'm Big Daddy, smash quicker. That little mama find the way she bend her ass bigger. <laughs> Pull this strike tigger. I eat dick with white skittles. I'm like, I don't know what white skittles is, <laughs> but that shit go hard. And they keep playing, and I'm like, this is my favorite part right here, cause he go, <laughs> and I cut it right there. I was like, you know how cool and confident you gotta be to be on a hood ass track and go. <laughs> I said, that shit make me smile with my gums showing. Bro. You know you're having a good time when your gums is out on the picture. I wonder if he thought of it or if his producer was like, hey, man, why don't you... Uh... <laughs> his producer just turned up the AC real quick. <laughs> Are we keeping that? Yeah, we yeah. keeping that. Yeah, so it's just a good, feel yeah. good song, That's bro. That's a good one. Hell people yeah. People be popping when I do it. You know what I'm yeah. saying? When they run it back and I hit it with the... Because I stand the same way and I'm like... <laughs> And so it's oh, yeah. a good time, man. It's a good way to like just break the ice and get them yeah. hyped. So. Yeah, it's hype. Bro, yeah. this was a great fucking episode. Yeah, yeah man. I, I appreciate great. you having me. Yeah, I'm at the bro, I, appreciate, like, I appreciate you coming it's two, on. Is it almost I don't two, even know how two. long we did. 130. 130. 
Oh, perfect. Okay, I'm that, still good on the meter then. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm yeah, yeah. up in the front. Oh, you know to hear a plug, anything you got, man, wherever you at? Uh, man, uh, just just fuck with me like a comic, Charlie. I'm out here everywhere. You find me. Today. Yeah, he's, every, he's literally everywhere. M O O R E. Uh, join the Patreon. That's where you get exclusive content. Me and my wife yes. are talking about our girlfriend. Uh, it's a lot of dope shit we do. And uh, wait, you what? Yeah, yeah. We wind it if you want to hear it. I ain't gonna repeat it. <laughs> Y'all know what the fuck it is. For those that already know, you already know. But uh, yeah, just fuck with me, man. I'm out here, man. Just follow the Instagram and everything. Oh, yeah, fucking it's... legend. <laughs> <laughs> to hear more, hey, everybody. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, brother. Yeah. Fuck. Hilarious. Lesser known characters.